Hi, this is Yaroslav from uh, ShareMatch.com, and today we're continuing with our previous theme of uh, SharePoint 2013 preview screencasts. And today we're going to take a look at some of the uh, social features of uh, SharePoint 2013 preview. So uh, you've probably seen this uh, uh, team site that in, from a past videos. It's just a regular team site. We'll take a look at some of the social interactions that can happen on this team site. So obviously, as in SharePoint 2010 version, in order for all of the social capabilities of SharePoint to uh, come to life, you have to have a user profile service application enabled. So uh, here I have a central administration. And uh, again, just to remind folks, I'm using CloudShare template uh, 2013 environment. So uh, some of the service applications are already pre-installed here. And that also includes a user profile service application. So if I go to manage service applications screen here, I see uh, the profile service sync and that's my user profile service application if we click on manage the user profile service application there uh, there isn't a lot of things that's different between uh, what's what's available in 2010 uh, some of the things some of the highlights that are different right now in a preview is ability to manage following and let me explain what that really means so if I go back to my team side as you can see now um, when I click on a document uh, there's this follow link there's also the follow link on the actual sub site. Now, unfortunately, uh, maybe it's a preview bug or this particular environment setup issue. Uh, when I click on those items, I get the error right now telling me that I can't follow it. But ideally, in a, in a production scenario or whenever the product is going to be released or whenever the, f the fixes are going to be applied, this will actually allow me to follow a particular document or all the content from this particular site. So currently, I'm, this is a root site collection. So I can follow basically everything from, from what's happening on this root site collection. And what, where is that bubbled up? That's bubbled up on the news feed. So there's this new concept if, and, you know, if you're familiar with 2010, there's the concept of you know, the feed and then there's also my content area. In here, it's all one site. So if I click on news feed, um, I can see uh, all of the activity that's, uh, that's happening. Um, you know, things like what people say and what I say, and it's very much like in a Twitter fashion. And also I can see all of the uh, items that I'm following, and actually uh, I can take a look at the items that I'm following. So from, from this dashboard, you can see that you can follow people, and obviously all of the updates that come from those people. Uh, you can follow actual documents and sites. Right now you see zero, uh, obviously, because I can't follow anything. Uh, but that's pretty much the, the items that I wanna that I can that I can follow. And obviously I can have sort of a conversation and very much like a Twitter. So uh, in here in and behind the scenes sort of look, I can manage that following and I can actually specify as an administrator how many uh, what's the maximum number of people that I can follow versus how many documents I can follow and uh, and how many sites I can follow so you know so your users obviously the more things you follow the more impact that brings to the performance of the site because uh, you know th that news feed will have to be aggregated and fed to you and also if if you're making changes as you're making changes um, some if someone has, has subscribed to you um, to, to receive feed of the changes that you're making, that'll obviously affect the performance as well, the compilation of those changes. So there's general news feed, there's a everyone type of a tab, and the everyone tab is like, you can think of it as a news feed is what you decide to follow, the everyone tab is really everything that's happening within an organization. So so in case there's some content that you may not be aware of but you want to you want to check on once in a while to see whether there is a content that that's of interest to you that you can follow um you can you can pick it from everyone and mentions very similar to the twitter mention basically people that res respond to you um you you'll be able to uh, you'll be able to see those uh, particular mentions uh there's also likes and activities for you to actually uh see what you've liked and, and the activities that happened. So that's sort of a overview of the newsfeed section. It's much more useful than um, it was in 2010, particularly because it allows you to uh, follow, um, to actually see the content that you care about and, you can, and that you can follow. And that tight integration with the actual content on the side, the fact that I can just go to the team site and follow the content right from here, um, and, and it's kind of like, 
plugged in in all the different areas of the site makes things that much easier. So we can probably see that this area, the newsfeed area, is going to become very, uh, very popular in, in upcoming implementations because that's really the central area where users are going to see uh, all the activity that that they care about. And then there's also you know typical things like uh, about me, which is basically your profile. Um, that that you can you know describe yourself, add your picture, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. The tasks here are really the uh, aggregate of uh, all of the tasks that are happening uh, that are assigned to you on a site uh, on a site on all of the site collections. So you know how um, sometimes you may have a project site and you belong to let's say five projects and literally for you to see what's going on and what are the tasks that have been assigned to you is, is to go and check it on, on those five different sites uh, and, and see whether there's anything assigned to you or whether there's anything due um, and of course you can set up emails alerts that can you know you can you can get a reminders when things are due but really uh, what would be really nice is to have uh, an aggregate of all the tasks and this this is the area and that's really what's uh, what this area is trying to to achieve uh, get the aggregate of all of your tasks and um, kind of um, in one centralized location so you can manage them and sort them and uh, and look for them so that's really uh, the main overview that I wanted to kind of cover today um, on some of the things that that's changed from a social perspective now there's there's a few more things and we'll we'll take a look uh, gradually at those as uh, as they come along but this is the main area of, of uh, investment from, from what it looks like in this particular release and that's um, some of the uh, upgrades and features here are going to play a, signific a significant role in, in rollout uh, throughout many organizations. So more to come, stay tuned, uh, sharemuch.com is uh, where most things are going to come and as well as I, I'll post the YouTube channel URL for you to uh, check out the upcoming videos.